Well, what do we have here? By now, you're probably thinking, gee, just another pink piece of tissue, pinkish purple, could be anything. Who cares? Well, let's zip up a little bit on this tissue. And when we start to see some structures, it will soon become abundantly apparent that you have these uh, epithelial structures arranged as circular follicles, like here and here, and a little bit irregularly circular here and here and here and there's a lot of colloid inside these follicles there's no other tissue in this body that this could be except for thyroid here's the colloid here are the peripheral follicular cells notice that the uh, colloid follicles are generally smaller than usual because perhaps the thyroid hormone stored inside these follicles is turning over faster perhaps because it's a diffuse hyperthyroid situation, uh, otherwise known as Graves' disease. In almost all forms of clinical primary hyperthyroidism, however, if you look at the colloid within the follicles, there is kind of a scalloping uh, serrated uh, separation between the follicle and the follicular cells. This is called scalloping. Here's some scalloping, here's some scalloping, here's some scalloping. Just about in every area where you see colloid, you'll notice there's kind of a serrated, scalloped separation between the uh, colloid and the uh, follicular epithelium here. This is one of the consistent features in hyperthyroidism. This is Graves' disease or diffuse toxic goiter. Thank you very much.